Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So shockingly, Terrence Crawford changes his stance and says that he's willing to fight Canelo Alvarez at a catch weight of 160, which is middleweight. Initially, Terrence Crawford stated that he didn't want to go above 154. But now he said that he'll fight Terrence, uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez at 160, right? Uh, uh, um, then he also said that Errol Spence should take some time off before the rematch. And he stated that he gave an in-depth uh, 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 look about him fighting Jerron Boots Ennis, right? Jerron Boots Ennis, he stated, does nothing for his career. Uh, it's a lose-lose situation for him. And that he will get no credit fighting and beating Jerron Boots Ennis. So it does nothing for his career. He says he definitely has talent. He definitely showed up on a big stage. But at the end of the day, he gets zero credit if he fights and beats Jerron Boots Ennis. He's going to get no credit, right? Um... And so he stated that it's not worth him fighting Jerron Boots Ennis. He said it's not a mega fight. It's not a super fight. And uh, uh, he essentially is going to do what's best for him in his career. He earned that position right now, which is 1,000% correct, right? Uh, he definitely earned his, his spot right now and, and, and being able to, you know, uh, choose – what direction he, he he wants to go in next. And so uh, he stated that, you know, um, fighting, you know, uh, um, Jerron Boots Ennis does absolutely nothing for his career right now, right? And uh, uh, Two Brown, what's up, family? They're clearly not sending out my notifications at all whatsoever. They're not even attempting to send out my notifications. Um. <clears throat> so uh trevor lyons what's up family quincy carter what's up family bro we got we can't get 25 people here that's wild uh 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 um 25 people is wild Uh, uh, so I got eyelash. Lay low. What's up, family? Dominic Davis was good. Blue the man with the plan. Salute. Yeah, I got a plan to get off this platform because uh, this is disgusting. Chuck PC Ville boxing. What's up, family? Yeah, they taking lights away. Uh, there, there is nobody to talk to. That's how they. That's how they work. They don't. They don't give you nobody to talk to, Chuck. Ron, what's up, family? Dominic Davis, Jamario Dixon, Montre, what's up, family? YouTube tripping. Didn't know you was live. Yeah, they. They're not sent out. We got forty people. It, it took me five minutes to get twenty-five people in here. Come on, man. <clears throat> that's it. That's disgusting. That's disgusting, bro. Come on, man. We can't get we can't get twenty five people as a joke. And Petsy, what's good, Blue? Why don't you stream on Twitch or or Kick or Rumble? Yeah, I, I'm about to make a change. Antonio Coleman, what's good, family? I gotta look into that. Uh, uh, get more information, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Kona, what's good, family? Um, so Terrence Crawford, you know, he uh, um
So, <clears throat> Terrence Crawford, Machiavelli Mafia, what's up, family? Clarence Cunny was good. You can stream on multiple streams at once with, with Ustream. What's Ustream? DCG, stupid. What's good, family? Spence, New York City. What's up, family? <clears throat> uh, you got, I got I to gotta look into that, man. <clears throat> Sometimes I get the notification an hour or two late. Yeah. Dominique Davis, good boo boo. What's next? Uh, big fight you personally want to see. Uh, that I personally want to see. That's... Uh, 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 a fight that I want to see put together or a fight that's already put together that's crazy blue I hate you too bro shaking my head yeah it's wild man Brandon McGee he said they're killing your vibe blue yeah it's wild bro we got 70 people here come on man Jim Jim what's good not already put together play matchmaker oh matchmaker uh Devin and Tank AJ what's good um Terrence Crawford, Jamel Chavo, um, Shakur Stevenson, and uh, um, Isaac Cruz, uh, um, Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, um, Tiafima Lopez, Devin Haney, uh, Tiafima Lopez Tank, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Enzo 88, what's up, family? Uh, uh, um, Jerron Ennis versus. Um, I've been wanting to see him Virgil Ortiz or Jerron Ennis versus uh, um, Jerron Ennis versus Keith Thurman. That's what I really want to see. Uh, Alon, what's good? Kevin Carey, what's good? Uh, Jerron Ennis versus Keith Thurman, is, I want to see that. Um, uh, uh, I don't mind seeing Keith Thurman versus Terrence Crawford. Um, Uh, oh, Canelo versus David Benavidez. Um, yeah, that's about it. Tank it anyway. I would like to see that, but I got to see anyway move up. Once I see anyway start to move up <clears throat> and start to make uh, 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 make some waves as he moves up, then anyway and tank for sure. Uh, but I, I got to see how anyway looks as he moves up. Laylo, what's up, family? LT, what's up, family? <coughs> Oh, Ryan Garcia, Roly Romero. Bivol, better be, better BF. Yeah, it's a lot of big fights I want to see. Yeah, so it's a lot of big fights I'm, I'm going to see. Tell people hit the notification icon and select all. <clears throat> yeah, I, <clears throat> you heard, Blue? Yeah, yeah, I, I've been... To, be, people been knew that, man. It's YouTube. Get the likes up. 96 people and only 27 likes. Colin uh, Sima Chimba. What's up, family? Uh, yeah, I've been telling people that, Coda, man. It's, it, people do it. It's not the people, Coda. It's uh, YouTube. They're purposely blocking people. You see how slow it's going up? That's not by accident. That's not the people not, not having the notifications on. That's them not sending them the notifications. People have the they have the notifications on. Because when they when when they want to send out the notifications, everybody comes in at once. When they don't want to send out the notifications, then nobody gets it. But they but they'll tell you is is oh the, you got people got to push all, 
Well, then how they how everybody get the notifications last night? Then how they get it in, in yesterday in the afternoon? But suddenly today, nobody gets the notifications. Come on, man. it's terrible, bro. Eugene Pearson, what's good, family? It's absolutely terrible and it's disgusting. Three people at a time. It's disgusting, man. Punch drunk 412, what's good, family? He said, Brandon McGee, I just got the notification and my brother who was right next to me didn't get it. But both subscribe. It's disgusting, bro. Hey, let me tell you how wild it is. Brandon McGee, let me tell you how wild it is. They be sending me my own notifications a week later. To me. Mike Mazik, what's good? Brandon Johnson, what's good? Dominique Davis, Ed Hinkerson, what's good? It, it's, it's one thing if they tell me Oh, there was a, a, a error or something. I can respect that. But they try to act like, oh, no, it's just the people don't have notifications on. King Bills, what's good? They act like it's y'all. A buck 50, what's good? If, if It would be one thing if they'd be like, hey, sorry about that. It's a technical difficulty. We didn't send it out. It didn't get out. I'm cool with that because uh, uh, it, it's technology. Things happen. But no, this is what they'll tell me. Well, we. it's just that you're... you're They'll send you some analytics. Well, analytically, you know, your your subscribers don't have on their note like like you like y'all dumb. Like I'm dumb. But meanwhile, they'll send me a notification two weeks later. Me, myself. Now how you gonna send me the content creator two weeks later and act like I'm dumb? It's wild, man. It's it's truly, truly wild. But anyway, man, did y'all hear this interview Terrence Crawford did? We're going to get into this, man. Did y'all hear the interview Terrence Crawford did? Uh, talk about you be hating on Floyd, never that. Blue state unbiased. Yeah, Dominique Davis, I don't know who. Man, whoever says that is just simple. That's all, man. <clears throat> That's all, man. Uh, anybody that says... Uh, uh, um. That that all oh, blues hating on Floyd, they're just simple minded people, man. Uh might be hiding fighters. Can we agree someone might be hiding fighters? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just simple mathematics. It's just no name say, yep, just watched it. Yeah, so he like the brother said, he covered all the bases, exactly what he did. Uh he addressed everything. Uh, uh, I'm gonna play some parts. Michael Goodwin's. What's good, family? Canelo can't make 160. Um, Canelo can make 164. He Canelo can make 160. Canelo can make 160. Canelo can make 160. He can make 160. He fighting at 68. He can make 60. Maybe 60. Maybe it might be like 62. 62 63 he can make 160 canelo's not that big of a guy at all now the problem i do have is that he has been fighting above 60 for quite some time so you might not get the best version of canelo alvarez if he comes down that might be the problem uh uh, uh brandon johnson you gotta respect floyd uh he made it in the world in this world uh, in this world and made boxing look easy, especially on defensive mode. Brandon Johnson, who who are you talking to? I don't even know what you're talking about, brother. I don't get any either. Yeah, he did make it look easy, bro. Jeremiah Joseph, what's up, family? Floyd did make boxing look easy, boy. Sure did. I agree with you with that, boy. I agree with you wholeheartedly with that. Tie in the sky, peace of blessings, Queen. How you feeling today? He Floyd made boxing looks very easy. Uh, it, it, it was just his playground, bro. People's champ, what's up, family? Appreciate you.
Floyd made boxing look like like he was the Flash. Eric P was good. Shout out from Omaha. Salute to Omaha. I'm going to the parade for Bud downtown this Saturday. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be. I would have came, man. <clears throat> Tight in the sky. Appreciate you, Queen. I would have came, but I'm I'm going back to Vegas. If I if I wasn't going to Vegas, I would be in Omaha right now. Shad 1419 was good. He said, "Blue, you right. I got a notification from a live you did last week." Yeah, they. But hey, but Shad, they send it to me. I'm the content creator. They send it to me the notification. Like really, really. To me. King Bills is good. The way Bud handles spins, he also makes it look easy. Uh, not as easy as Floyd, though. But he he made he made Errol Spence look like easy work. But there was some fights he didn't didn't look like easy work. Fresh Baker, what's up? AJ, what's up? That Jose Benavidez fight wasn't easy. The Igas Kavalaskis fight wasn't easy. The Gamboa fight wasn't easy. Uh, but I would agree when he faces his best opponents, he makes it look easy. When he fought Victor Postol, he made that look... Man, I was like, wow, bro. He made that look super easy. Uh, um, when he fought uh, um, Earl Spence, he made it look super easy. When he... Tex Rock, what's up, family? When he fought uh, Sean Porter, it didn't look easy, but that's a testament to Sean Porter because... Ain't nobody make Sean Porter look easy. Nobody. Ishmael Hassan, what's good? Joshua uh, Valdez and Russell are my picks this weekend. I'm with you. LT said no rematch needed. Yeah, man, that's how a lot of people feel. Ghost Rider, what's good? Dane Les, what's good? I'm just realizing Tank Tough's opponent was Barrios. Where's the real comp competition at? Uh, Yogi X, what's up, family? Unvaccinated A5, what's up, family? He said, Blue, uh, has Terrence Crawford took his... Took is Errol Spence steam away and as far as the popularity just asking yeah he's absorbed all of that did he take his popularity away no but did he absorb it yeah oh yeah oh 1000% one thousand percent he absorbed Low 520. What's up, family? Mm hmm. One thousand percent, bro. Pat Greed, my brother, when you cutting your hair, never. Well, I don't want to say never, but I ain't cutting it no time soon. So, Terrence Crawford addressed. Let's start with Jerron Ennis. Let's start with when he. Uh, um, no, I'm not going to dread that. I, I braid it. It did tie in the sky. It did. Uh, um. 700,000 pay-per-views. Probably a little bit more. Hmm. I don't like bananas, man. I only eat them because they, cause they're good for you. I got Oscar Valdez beating up right there. Ed Hinkerson, what's up, family? Facts, I get asked the same blue, and I ain't cutting my ish. Yeah, I'm not cutting it. Brian Worship, what's up? Who you got? 
So let's start with uh, Jerron Ennis, right? He says, let's listen what he said about Jerron Ennis. Gertz, what's up, family? And then we'll discuss it. Let's listen what he said about fighting Jerron Ennis. Let's listen what he said about Jerron Ennis. Mm, a lot of people want to fight him. So just listen. Right now in my career, a lot of people like boost this, boost that, boost this. You know, uh, fighting boost is a lose lose situation. Mm. You know, uh, you know uh, fighting boost is a lose lose situation. Mm. You know, uh, I win, they're going to say, oh, well, he was young, he wasn't ready. You know, uh, he was talented, he was skillful, but you you got the experience over him. You got, you know, uh, so much more than this kid that that never been tested before. You know, because we always seen him win and fly in color, uh, a fashionate way, you know, to where we say, oh man, he's cold, he's skillful, but he's never been in the ring with nobody to test him. So, uh, me fighting Boots would be like, okay, well, you beat Boots. It's not a mega fight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's, it's going to sell a little bit because of your name and what you just accomplished. Mm -hmm. You know, but now what? Well, you know what I mean? Catch weight. Mm -hmm. So, y'all heard what he said about Jerron Boots in this. So he said that it's a lose-lose situation. I beat Jerron in this. They're going to say the kid didn't beat nobody. He didn't do nothing. He was talented, but you caught him when he was young. He had no experience, and I'm in a lose-lose situation. And I'm going to say this. I agree with Terrence Crawford. Habitual line stepper. What's up, family? Smash the like button, man. Let's get the likes up. Drop it down in the super chat. Refresh the super chat. Ahmad AB, what's up? Shalom King. Shunji A5, what's good? Get the likes up. We should have, I mean, we know they're playing games. We have 237 people here. Armstrong Consult, my brother A side in the building. We know they're playing games. So why don't we do our part? Why do I have to say it? We we sitting here talking about the games they play, yet we don't participate. No name, what's good? CB, what's good? Get the likes up. We should have two, three hundred likes right now. Maya, Egypt, bless this queen. How you feeling today? Get the likes up. Let's get the likes all the way up. 49 has suffered major injury. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Breaking news. The San Francisco 49ers have suffered their... Oh, I'm nervous, bro. Ray Ray McLeod. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, uh, Shumbag, what's good? Get the lights up. Robert Singleton, what's up, family? Lili, what's good? Shamay Bag, what's up, family? Uh, 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 get the lights up. DC Curry, what's up, family? Let's get the lights up. We should have 400 likes. Drop it down in the Super Chat. Refresh the Super Chat. We already know the games they playing. Terrell Blanco, my brother in the Super Chat, dropping that. Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, what's up, Blue? Uh, what it do? Just got a floor seat 
for 4K for the Mo uh, Canelo fight. You think that's a good deal? No, they gonna go up after the results. Oh yeah, yeah, after resale hits. Oh for sure, that's a great deal, bro. Four stacks? That's a great deal. Terry Smooth Jr. What's good? Terry Smooth, where you been at? Timothy Stopmine, what's good? Hey Curry, peace and blessings, Queen. That's a great deal, great brother. Cause they those seats is gonna go sky high, bro. Sky high. So that's a great deal. Fly paper, what's up, family? Hey, bro, we can't continue with these likes like this. Get the likes up. We should have at least 350 likes right now. Eddie James 313, what's up, family? We should have at least get the likes up, man. LT, what's good? Yeah, Ray Ray McLeod broke his wrist, man. So he's out for half the season. Well, no. He'll be out to week 14, week four. That's a loss because he's a, a punt returner. He's a kick returner for us. Bazooka Boulevard, what's up? <clears throat> so, uh, uh, um, I agree with Terrence Crawford when he says that. Now, now I'm going to say these two things. I agree with him as far as him not getting the credit uh, should he beat Jerron Ennis, right? I don't agree with him not fighting Jerron Ennis because I want to see the fight. And I think Jerron Ennis deserves an opportunity. Uh, uh, so for sure, uh, uh, um, uh, um, I agree that Terrence Crawford is not going to get his credit. Uh, uh, um, King Bill say, hey, blue, I changed my water because of you. Yeah, this is the best water, life water, family. So I agree with him 1,000%. Should he fight Jerron Ennis, it will be equivalent to when Floyd Miller fought Canelo Alvarez right now. If he was to fight, now I don't think he blows out Jerron Ennis like that, but who knows? Uh, Luch Dog, what's up, family? Uh, I think it's, I think him and Jerron Ennis is actually a a a fifty fifty fight, and I favor Terence Crawford because of his experience. Just like he said, he got the experience edge. Uh, does he has the edge in athletic ability? No. Uh, Keys, what's good? Does he have the edge in power? No. Uh, does he have the edge in, in, in height and reach? No. Uh, does he have the edge in foot speed? No. Uh, but he has the edge up, up here and experience. Boston News DC was good. He's been there before. He's been at the highest level. That Errol Spence fight only gave him more uh, 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 data, more information, more experience. He, It's going to be extremely hard to beat him right now. The thing is, right? Lang Jones, what's up? Now I got a question. Is Jerron Ennis gonna be stronger than Terrence Crawford? I don't think so. The Libra non do six, what's up, family? Dog fight, what's good? Codeine, what's good? Is he gonna be stronger than him? I don't think so. But how well would it do money wise, Blue? Tying this guy, that's the thing. Uh Mr. J Duke uh 40, what's up, family? I don't money wise, I don't think it's gonna be a 25 million dollar fight for terence crawford and a 25 million dollar fight for boots i think terence crawford it, it would be they will have to pay terence crawford dc curry was good okay uh um they're gonna have to pay terence crawford big money paul porter what's up family and then terence crawford is gonna get the blame if it don't generate people love jerron boots in this but he is not a household name. They're going to have to put that fight uh, uh, in a region where it favors Jerron Ennis. Cassandra, peace of blessed queen, how you doing today? They're going to have to put it in a, in a region where it favors Jerron Ennis so that uh, uh, Jerron Ennis supporters, Dante McGinnis, was good. Nanis, uh, June Undercover was good. Uh, if it, it don't make money, it don't make sense. Right. They, they're going to have to put it in like Brooklyn. It would have to be in like Brooklyn, where uh, uh, um, Philadelphia, the East Coast region that's very familiar. Kenneth Neal was good uh, uh, with Jerron Ennis. It can't be at, at Madison Square Garden because the PBC has a contract with the Barclays Center. Top Rank has a contract and DAZN has a contract with Madison Square Garden. 
So it would have to be at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Which is cool. Terrence Crawford never fought there. So to have Terrence Crawford fight Boots in his T, what's up, family? Uh 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 in 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 the Barclays Center would be huge. But it's not gonna be a fight where it's gonna do seven hundred thousand pay per views because it's not. It'll probably do like two hundred and fifty thousand pay per views. Uh uh Jerron Ennis he ain't gonna get paid that much. Jay Blizzy, what's good? Uh uh Malik Mack, what's up? Uh uh um Jerron Ennis is you can't pay him more than two, three million dollars, right? Because the fight is not gonna generate the the money to to be able to pay them. So now uh Paul Porter, my brother in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, Well, uh if Bud get boots, he better get him now, cause I'm a couple years Boots gonna be a boss. Agreed. But in a couple years, Terrence Crawford will be done. Troy Allen, what's up? Brandon Johnson, what's good? Uh uh. <clears throat> he said, nah, I think it does four and five hundred. No, it's not gonna do four and five hundred thousand pay per view bucks. No, it's not. Adrian Short was good. It's definitely not gonna do no four hundred, five hundred thousand pay per view bucks. No, it's not. It's not, brother. But we are familiar with Jerome Boots in this. The world is not familiar with Jerome Boots in this. Terrence Crawford got a lot of momentum, a lot of traction, so it would have to be next, and it would benefit because you build up off of the the momentum with Terrence Crawford and Boots is the the phenom, as I call him, uh, 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 that people are familiar with, like Charlemagne. There's some people that's familiar with. It it'll catch on right now. And Stevens was good. And Stevenson was good. Uh, uh, um, but it's not gonna do five hundred thousand pay per views. No. No, 350 at best. At best. That's like at max. No. And it, and Hus Highlights was good. And it has to be Stephen A. Smith already talking about boots on ESPN. It don't matter. <clears throat> Tootie uh, Reeves was good. You got to think. Boston Fernandez was good. Chris Lil Mon Taylor was good. You got to keep in mind. They talked about Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. They was already established. They was already. They was already established. They was already uh, 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 um, up there. They was already, you know, they was already built up. And and uh, 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 it only did seven hundred thousand. This is a fight we've been anticipating for five years. So you think Boots and Terrence Crawford gonna do just un, just uh, two hundred thousand less? No way. No way. It'll do about three hundred max. Max. Vietnamese style was good for me. Max. Man, I'm disgusted that we have hundred and eighty-eight likes. We have 188 likes at 30 minutes. A hundred and eighty eight likes, man. Boston Fanatic, I expected more too. Me too. But they have to put Boots and Terrence Crawford at the Barclays Center. Which would be good. Because you have New York. And the fact that it's in New York is going to get even more traction. Texas, what's up, family? From the hip-hop scene. You know, entertainers, things of that nature. Uh, they'll come out to the Barclays Center. And it's two um, African-American fighters, so putting that in Brooklyn would be dope. Omaha is only um, 
I, on a flight, Omaha is only an hour and th um, 20 minutes from New York. So, Omaha family will be able to come. Philly is an hour and a half drive from New York. So, they'll drive down. So, the Barclays Center will sell out. No doubt. They'll sell out the Barclays Center. The problem is going to be the pay per views. Chick Cicerelli, what's up, family? And paying Terrence Crawford because he's going to want to get paid. He ain't taking no more chump change, Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? He ain't taking no backseat, no, no money no more. That's out the question. So, T Bug, what up, family? That's out the question. He ain't taking no backseat financially no more. So you can forget that. He gonna need to get paid. I agree with him. And he, for Jerron Ennis, is win-win. I get Terrence Crawford. I get experience. He's seen as the best fight in the world right now. He's, he's a Hall of Famer. People comparing him to the greats. If I lose, you lost to one of the best in this era. Daniel Matthews is good. If Terrence Crawford lose, he loses everything. He loses everything. And he beats Jerron Ennis. Train our dream dudes. What's up, family? They're going to do just like they did uh, Canelo and Floyd. Who did Boots fight? Who did he beat? Now, as a fight fan and a fan of Jerron Ennis, I want to see him get his opportunity. Charles Muhammad, what's up? I want to see him get his opportunity. Because I think he could dance with the best of them, including Terrence Crawford. Podcast, what's up, family? Black Cam TV, what's up? I, I believe in Boots. I think he could dance with the best of them. No doubt. I have no doubt. But for Terrence Crawford, it's lose-lose. He don't win. Financially, he ain't going to get paid. <clears throat> it's not going to be, it's not a mega fight, like he said. It's not. It's not. See, Urban Witch, brother in Super Chat. Boots need Mayweather back in to um, sweeten the pot. You no, know, he needs that Keith Thurman fight. He needs the Keith Thurman fight. And I think Terrence Crawford is, is starting to appreciate the love he's getting. Because Jet Throw 6'6", what's good? He changed his tune about retiring too, Terrence. I might fight until I'm 40. Uh-oh. Boots need to keep Thurman fight. I'm eating pistachios, bro. Timothy, stop mining. What's good? Keith Bill Jr., what's good? Jerron Ennis need Keith Thurman. Ryan Henderson, brother in Super Chat, dropping that. Cinco on your boy Blue. Appreciate you, bro. You think he got 10 more fights? No. I think he can, but I don't think he will. 
Dr. Sebastian Longstaff, what's up, family? Kareem Jackson, what's good? DC Curry, what's up? I don't think he, I think he does. I don't think he will. Ugas does nothing for boots. <clears throat> Nons of self determination, what's good? Two hands coach, what's up, family? Ugas does absolutely nothing for me. Sean Connor, what's up, brother? Salute to Indianapolis. Ugas don't help Jerron Anderson at least bit. Nothing. He need Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman, Rashidi Ellis. Those are two good fights for him. Nope. I meant to say Keith Thurman and e and uh, Egas and um Amanda Stanionis. Ain't it Maine? What's up, family? Kojo, what up? If he can get Keith Thurman. The perfect thing for Boots would be Keith Thurman and Virgil Ortiz. If he could have got Keith Thurman and Virgil Ortiz, Terrence Crawford would fight him. If he got Keith Thurman, beat him, and beat Virgil Ortiz, Motivation 317, salute to 317. What's up? <clears throat> mm -mm. Him beating Connor Ben don't want a, a Terrence Crawford fight. But if he beat Keith Thurman and Virgil Ortiz. Mm-hmm. Trillion Dollar Dream Dudes, my brother in the super chat, dropping that. Cinco on your boy Bloom. A cold demonstration would be EJ fighting and beating Boots as a tune-up before the Crawford rematch. I know it won't happen, but that would be big. He might lose the Boots. I don't think Earl Spence would beat Boots right now. I don't think he beats Boots right now. I think Earl Spence... Earl Spence fighting Boots immediately. After his loss, he would lose to Boots. I think that he's in a where his mental. No, he didn't mean it as a tune up, like he's a tune up, but just like a, a get back fight. He's saying instead of fighting a tune up, if he fought Jerron Ennis. No, we know Booth. Ain't nobody tune up. Anyone who's on my brother, what's up, family?
So, when Floyd Mayweather beat Canelo Alvarez, everybody turned around and said, Canelo Alvarez, well, not everybody, but the detractors. Canelo Alvarez too green, too young, not ready. Meanwhile, he had 40 fights. Has successfully defended his title five times and had a unification bout. And people still said Canelo Alvarez is too green and not ready. Imagine Terrence Crawford fighting and beating Jerron Ennis, who's never even fought for a title. That's what they would say. Because Terrence Crawford has a lot of detractors. That's why. He wouldn't get the credit he deserves. I would give him credit. Y'all would give him credit. But the mass majority of the world won't give him credit. I know what Jerron Ennis represent. The hardcore boxing fans know what he represent. But the casuals don't know. <clears throat> Stephen Crosby, what's good? Oscar Paramello, what's good? And they won't give him credit. Alvin McMillan, what's good? So, I completely understand what he's saying when he said what he said. 1,000%. <clears throat> James S., my brother in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. Salute, Blue. I don't think Canelo was green, but we can agree that he wasn't uh, the best prime Canelo, right? Um, What's the best prime Canelo? What, what would be... What would be the best prime Canelo? What would be the best prom Canelo? What would be considered? Oh! Ho, ho, ho! My brother in the building! Hey, man! Hey, bro, you just made my day, bro. You just made my day, man. You just made my day, man. That's my brother right there, man. Kooky G, man, in the building, dropping that dub on your boy Blue. He said, yo, read up. What's good with you, King? Oh, man. Tony Street, what's good? He said, yo, read up. Trying to go up. Blackwater Boxing. What's up, family? I don't see nothing, great brother. <clears throat> I need some more water, though. I know that. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't see nothing, King. D. Atkins, what's up, family? King, I don't see nothing. Detective Lopez, what's up, family? 
G, I don't see nothing. Boxer Fanatics, what's good? Man, I'm sweating and cold at the same time. I'm cold and sweating at the same time. Boo, what you think about Marcus Brown being back in business this weekend? He got a lot to prove. I like Marcus Brown, Sir Marcus Brown. Titan Scott said, Blue, you just made me jump. <laughs> Sorry, Queen. Music showing by Music TV. What's good? Googie G is, is actually my best friend, man. My brother right there, man. Light Eyes, what's up, family? King Bills, what's good? <clears throat> yeah, I'm cold. I got the AC on because it's raining. It's cold, but I'm sweating at the same time. Fred and the tower, what's good? I don't know why. Smash the like button, man. We got 257 likes in the hour mark. That's cold right there, bro. My brother, Coogie G, back in the super chat, dropping that half a dub on your boy Blue. He said, I got struck by a van last week. Oh, word? Wow, that's wild. You good? Hey, Kate, so I'm going to hit you up when I get off the stream. AJ, what's good? Black 169 Escalade, what's good? I'm going to hit you up when I get off the stream. Everything good, though? Kendrell, what's up, family? He said you with this man. He says, call the cold sweat. Yeah, just me. He was good. Hey, King, you good? Bro, Kuza, what's up, family? I'm going to call you when I get off the stream. Tyrone Winston, what's good? Clarence Cunney, brother in the super chat. He said, do you think EJ should move up to 160? No. No. Said blue look like easy. I should put this, the shades on. Dog fight, what's up, family? Brother in the super chat dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. He said EJ versus Castano, then rematch Bud in March or April. What do you think about that, big bro? I love that idea. I love that idea, but EJ ain't going for it. Steven Crosby, what's good? Uh, Benavidez and Andre still in negotiations. Lucky Showtime, what's up, family? Kenneth Neal, what's up? They still in negotiation. Coogie G, my brother, back in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, I was in the hospital last week, but I'm home now. Uh, I'm going to hit you up when uh, when I get off the stream. I'm going to hit you up as soon as I get off the stream. For sure, for sure. As soon as I get off the stream. Live smash the like. Yeah, get the likes up, man. We should be at 500 likes. Yeah, get the likes up, man. We should be uh we should be at 500 likes right now.
Jesse R. D. Atkins. What's good? Yeah, that would be good for EJ. I agree. Yeah. Uh, what y'all think about uh, Terrence Crawford said that Errol Spence need to take some time off. What y'all think about that? DT Rio, what's up, family? That he said that he need to take time off. He said that he and he said that they they stopped the fight late. Boss of Fernandez, brother in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, Blue, good looks for always uh, acknowledging us in the chat. No doubt, great brother. Have to. Y'all family. Cookie G, my brother, back in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, uh, tell tell the people you got your hair from the Tyler Perry studio. Nine is trash, bulls trash. Let's. <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 G, you know, you know, Quez be giving me that, that, that Jets talk right now. That's all he talk about right now. Deontay Mosley, what's good? He just left talking about the Jets, is, Jet, the Niners is trash and Jets and this, 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 this and this. And, hey, he said Tyler Perry Studios. <laughs> hey, that, hey, just on real, hey, just, just so y'all know, in real life, that's really my brother in real life. All true. All true. We literally grew up together. It's my best friend. We man, listen. All true. All true. All true, man. Happy Valley Farms. What's good? Nah, he's not. He not. I'm not just saying that. That's literally. I'm not. I'm not just saying that. That's literally. Uh. 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 My family. Literally. He say you got your hair from Tyler Perry Studios. Hey, majority of stories I tell y'all, he was there. All true. A a anything, uh, 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 anything with re re the streets, anything. He was there. He was a part of it. Kilmani, confirm. What's up, family? King Alfred, aka Big South. What's up, family? What up, Blue DC in the building? Salute to DC. All true. That's all true. Smash the like button. Get the likes to 500. Hey, f um, fun fact. Let me tell y'all a funny story, right? <laughs> hey, hey. So he lived in Brooklyn. He lives in Brooklyn, right? <laughs> so one day, I hit him up. And I'm like, I'm about to come to your crib. It was a Friday or a Saturday. I hit him up about to come to your crib. He like, yo, you want me to scoop you? I'm like, nah, I'm gonna take the train. <laughs> so I'm I started I started drinking. I am 50 cal. What's good? All true. He could tell he gonna confirm this. I start drinking, going to the train station. Before I even got on the train, I'm drinking. And I'm drinking 151. All true, 151, right? Mike Lee, what up, comrade? Yeah, Lucky Showtime, we from we from New York. Born and raised in New York. So I'm drinking 151. 151. I get on the train and end up <laughs> and end up in Manhattan. <laughs> go straight past Brooklyn, go past Queens and everything. I, I'm in Manhattan, right? I'm Dolo, I'm by myself. That's why I tell people, be careful when you're taking the trains in New York. I end up in Manhattan. So he calls me like, bro, where you at? It don't take that long to get there. I'm like, bro, I'm in the city. I'm downtown. He like, wait, what? I say, I'm downtown. I went right past Brooklyn. Right, right past Brooklyn, right? So I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to come. I'm be, I'll be in Brooklyn. So he like, all right. I go to Red Lobster. President was good. All true. I go to Red Lobster, right? <laughs> Downtown Manhattan. <laughs> I eat. I feel like, you know, when you eat, you feel like it, it, it soaks up the liquor. And I ate pasta, so it soaked up the liquor. So I'm like, oh, man, I'm good. 
I get back on the train to go to his house and start drinking again because I felt revived. Ernie V was good. I felt revived. So I get on, I get back on the train, right? I get off at his stop and I'm sauce. I'm sauce again. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm super sauce. I kid y'all not. He's, he completely saved my life. I got off the train, right? He he knew something was wrong. I get off the train, and I end up with a group of goons from Brooklyn. Don't know how I got with them. Nothing. I completely blanked out and came to, and I'm with like eight people. Eight dudes. Like, yo, we walking this way. I'm fine. I'm walking with them. All right, we out. He comes around the corner like, yo, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm blanking in and out. He like, yo, bro, what? So hey, 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 he was heavy. So he like, yo, listen, man. Yo, this is my bro. Man, we out. I, I was for sure, bro, I don't know where they was about to walk me, bro. It was it was going to be all bad. Salute to my brother, Coogie G, brother in the super chat, dropping that Cinco on your boy Blue again. He said, Blue used to protect me from bullies, and he would bully the bullies for me. And he was from the hood that was mortal enemies with my hood. Facts. All true. All true. That's all true. That's my brother right there. He know I, I, lay, I, lay, I lay my life down for him in a heartbeat. On a G, he said, "How was Blue Hands growing up?" All true. That uh, man. That's why I be telling y'all, man. People, people on here be thinking, man. That's why I tell people, man. Oh yeah, they was getting ready to do me dirty. Just be E was good. They was getting ready to do me dirty. I, they was getting ready to do me dirty. It was getting ready to get ugly. Coogie G, brother, back in the super chat. He said you was following the strip of all facts. I know, man, I ain't know what was going. He, he saved my life, bro, because I was getting ready to wander off with them dudes. I was wandering off with them. It was it was over, man. It was it was getting ready to be ugly. She, yeah, she was setting me up big time. It was gonna be ugly. Yeah, it was it was gonna it was gonna get ugly. Y'all wouldn't have knew nothing about me. Y'all wouldn't have known nothing about me. I wouldn't even been in existence. It was about to get ugly. Kenneth Neal, what's good? Yeah, he saved me. He saved my life. I don't know where I, she was talking good, bro, and I don't know what the hell Yeah, he's, they wasn't just going to take anything. They was going to take the life with it. It was going to get ugly, bro, Kuzer, for sure. Yeah, it was getting ready to get ugly. Yeah, Kendra, she was talking good, bro. You know, you be sauce, bro. It's just... Bro, it was ugly. It was going to get ugly. It was ugly, for sure. John G, what's good? Mike Lee, what up, comrade? That's all true. Or for sure it's gonna be. That's not the first time you say me. Another time, I was sauce. <laughs> hey, another time me and my other brother is sauce, right? Machiavelli Mafia brother in the super chat dropping that. Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, Blue, lucky. If you're from East, East, uh, uh, you, you know Brooklyn cats would have tried to uh, feast on the Harlem cat. Burroism is real. LOL. Bro. And I, I don't want to say locations, but I wasn't far from the East. Trust me. Kooky G, my brother, back in the super chat. Kid the Great, what's up, family? He said, uh, dropping another Cinco on your boy Blue. He said, Poe hands should have been bronze. He was he was the only dude in Roosevelt from Hempstead and had dudes wrapped in fear test his hands. All true. See, tried to tell y'all. Tried to tell y'all. Mike Lee, what's good? 
He said, uh, not nothing, bro. That's a crazy story. Hey, hey, G, tell them about this one. Me and my other brother get sauce. Again, no, we was drinking. This time we drinking uh, um, uh, uh, um, Ray and Nephews, Jamaican rum. Ray and Nephews. I had a pimp cup. Al Rogan was good. <laughs> hey, my wife had bought me a pimp cup. Remember that, G? I had a pimp cup with, with diamonds on it and everything. All true. Wife had bought me a pimp cup with diamonds on it and everything. Y'all know that era when you had the pimp cup? You know what I'm saying? Sparkles and all. Shining. You know what I'm saying? Wife had bought it for me. We drinking Ray and Nephews. And I got it in a pimp cup. Drinking Ray and Nephews and anything. Right? I wandered off. Again. Just strolled off. Wandered off. Man, I ended up standing with the Crips, like 20 Crips on the corner, dropping knowledge on them. <laughs> and these dudes are sitting there listening to me. <laughs> Yo, he came, he was like, bro, get in the car. <laughs> Yo, I went to the corner store. And it was like it was like twenty crips, bro, at the corner store. It was like twenty crips. Kurt Carr was good at the corner store. I kid y'all not. I'm not making it up, bro. Yeah, it got me in tears. I'm standing there dropping knowledge on them what they should and shouldn't be doing out here. I'm out there dropping knowledge. He pulled up. Yeah, he pulled out. He was like, "Bro, kid in the car." <laughs> Oh, I remember I remember standing there with them. I don't remember what I was saying. I remember going in and out. Bro, and they was they was listening, bro. Love Stacy B was good. I was dropping some good the good knowledge on them because they was listening. They ain't sent me to the upper room. They could have sent me to the upper room, bro. I was standing there dropping knowledge on them. With a pimp cup on the corner. All true. He pulled up like, bro, you know these dudes? I'm like, nah, but these young dudes, they need to know this, this, and this. He's like, bro, get in the car. He said, OG Blue done ran into Crips and Bud at the, at the store. Facts. Facts. I was dropping knowledge on these dudes, bro. I don't know what I was telling them dudes, bro. It was like 20 Crips. Legit. Bro, Omar Day, what's good? I must, I had to know some of them, man. But, bro, I hope I did plan to see the knowledge, some knowledge on them. I definitely was in the middle, and I was in the middle of them. I was in the middle of them dropping knowledge. He like, he pulled up. He like, bro, what? He's like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Oh man, yo, we we wild, man. Happy Valley Falls, brother in the super chat. He said you would have went viral uh these stories. All facts, bro. If there was cameras and stuff when I was in when I was out here, bro. Yeah, it would have went super viral. It would have went super dry, super viral. Y'all hoods in New York sound like I was in LA. Hey, it's the same thing. Same thing. Hoods is hoods everywhere. My brother Coogie G, brother back in the super chat, dropping that half a dub on your boy Blue. He said, nah, the time the Latin Kings ran down on you and you and Kaz was with the with the Mothberg and you eating a slice of pizza telling them y'all just gotta have to shoot me. Yeah, that's another situation. My bro, man, it, it listen. So He's telling all truth. We is in Brooklyn again. T Bonafide, what's good? We in Brooklyn again, right? Illy Willy, what's good? I ain't gonna say what happened, but things unfolded. We walking down the street again. We in Brooklyn, and it's like 
we went to a basketball game. And at this basketball game, it's me, my brother, and my cousin. We had this basketball game. And it's me, my brother, my cousin, and my cousin's man. And my cousin's man gets into a squabble with his girl. He, we go into this basketball game in Brooklyn. And when we go into the basketball game, my cousin's man, there's four of us. My cousin man see his girl with another dude at the basketball game, right? And he starts arguing with her at the basketball game. They ended up on the court. All true. This is all cool. All true. We in Coney Island. They end up on the court arguing and fighting him and her. She ends up, I don't know how she did it, but it was winter time, so he, we had on coats. But I don't remember he had a scarf or something on. But we had on murder ones, masks. And she ended up having a scarf where she's choking this dude on the basketball court with his scarf in the middle of the game. So now everybody's like, man, what? So they, him and her is fighting on the court. I'm like, bro, come on, man. So we break it up. Bro, let's get out of here. He's tight. Right? He's tight. Yeah, bro, Kuzi, you know, it's, it's, it's super, it's all blood in Coney Island, pretty much. So we leaving, the, we leaving the game. And we walking down the street. Next thing you know, we get on the train, get off the train. Again, we with a bunch of Crips. My cousin knows some of them. We, it's just the four of us. Preacher Joe, what's good, family? 903 Boston, what's good? It's just the four of us. Ends up with like a group of Crips again, walking down the street. I don't know them, we don't know them, nothing. Runs into uh, some Latin Kings at the store. It's actually just two Latin Kings. They start beefing with the Latin King dudes. The Crips. We ain't got... It's The four of us ain't got nothing to do with this. True poet. What's good? Something happens. I'll leave it as that. And, and one of the Latin King dudes ends up knocked out on the ground. He ends up knocked out on the ground. Snoring. He's snoring. Literally like... <sighs> his man leaves him. He's snoring on the, on the ground. We go into the, the, the pizzeria. It's at a pizzeria. So I, I, we ain't had nothing to do with it. The four of us ain't had nothing to do with it. Allegedly. They ain't, we ain't had nothing to do with it. We go in the pizzeria. I get pizza. It's a pizzeria slash bodega. Diamond Queen, Pizza Bus Queen. We get the pizza and everything. Coming out this, the pizzeria. Like 40 Latin Kings pops out of nowhere. Like 40 of them. 40 of them. Terry approved right. Peace of blessings, queen. Yeah, he was sleeping. He's still on the ground. Like 40 of them. Maya Egypt, peace of blessings, queen. We walk outside. The dude runs right to me. I the, the, the dude in the front of all the Latin, Latin kings. It's like 40 of them. He runs right to me. Now, all of the Crip dudes that was walking with us, Everlasting Wings, was good. They all gone. <clears throat> There's none of them around us. It's just the four of us. It was just the four of us to begin with. They come up, come right to me. And my brother, could, he could co-sign this. He could tell you. Pulls out the, 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 the Mossberg. Puts it right to me. Hey, bro. Why you do that to my brother? I'm like, bro. See, y'all y'all get this, this version of Blue. I'm a different type of person today's time. At that time, I didn't even care, man. So, he's looking at me. Why you do that to my brother? This, this, and this. So, I'm like, what? I say, yo, bro. We ain't do that to no, no your brother. Uh, Cookie G said the Crips put homie to sleep and slid off and spent off. Facts. They dipped off. So I'm like, bro, we ain't do that to your brother. He like, 
Nah, why you did it to my brother? Mind you, they none of them picking him up or nothing. He's still laying it. Puts it to my... He puts it right to me. Bro, why you do that to my brother? I'm looking at my other mans. My cousin. I'm like, man. I said, bro. You got to do what you got to do. The anticipation of us standing here like this is worse than what you get ready to do. So just do it, bro. I look back. I'm like, man, this dude about to blow me into the potato chips and everything. My other brother standing to the side of me, he biting his pizza. Ain't budging nothing. This is how we was just out of control. My brother biting his pizza. He just looking. I'm like, man, this is about to end. This again, get ready. Get super ugly. So I'm like, bro, the anticipation is worse than the actual action, bro. Just do it. Get it over with. And he cocked it. I'm like, all right, here we go. And obviously I'm still here. Luckily, this girl comes over. She comes running through the crowd. She comes running through the crowd. Nah, 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 nah. Tell, telling the dude, nah, you got the wrong dudes. You got the wrong dudes. This ain't them. This ain't them. They ran. They down. They 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 went down to the train station. They went to the train station. <laughs> Gookie said there was gonna be bits and pieces all over, all over that pizza shop. All facts. All facts. Mr. Intelligence was good. So she comes over like, no, no, no. Y'all got the wrong person. You got the wrong person. They went down there. It, they went down there. They went down there. You got to go. So them dudes like, yo, pardon me, fam. Pardon, you know, this, this, and this. And they took off chasing them down, you know, trying to chase them down. All true. All true. So I was like, man, I got my pizza. We got our pizza and we just walked off. And they never picked the old boy up. All true. He was still, when they took off, well, I'm lying. When they took off behind those dudes and left us, she was the only one. She went and because uh, she was in the window watching. And so she, uh, 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 uh. She went to uh, um. She went to the dude. My brother, bitch, B Mega Star in the building. A A G. They go, bitch, bitch. They go, G. She went to him, and she was attending to him, and then we just walked off. And, and you know, thankfully, I'm still here to kick it with y'all. I'm still here to kick it with y'all. But yeah, man, I was out of control. I was completely out of control. I was out of control. Way out of control, bro. Way out of control. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm here to see another day. But I was out of control, man. Dark Knight 216. What's good, great brother? Yeah, I'm glad too, great brother. I'm glad. That's why when dudes be on here talking wild and this, I, that's why I just be like, man, I don't, I don't even care, bro. If you, if y'all knew what I've been through, Abandoned Boys, what's good? Marky Dan, one, two, three, what's good? And, and seen and been through in my life, bro, you, when dudes be making videos, put me, my face in it, I could care less. I'm just happy to be here. I ain't in jail. I got friends doing 180 years, bro. 120 years. <laughs> man, come on, man. I got friends that's dead. And, 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 and last time I checked, they ain't never come back. So, bro. You do all the videos you want. I could care less. I get to wake up and breathe this fresh air, go to the bathroom, drink water when I want to. Man, come on, man. I 
Ay, Man, y'all don't even understand, bro. We got a homie that 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 passed away in jail, and because he was a real dude, stood on his square. He ain't even do it. I told y'all that. Cody Maxwell was good. Gee, I told him about Twin. He ain't even do it. And because he was a real dude, and we believe in the no snitching, and you don't do that and this and all that. He, he stood on the square in there and just before he was getting ready to come out of jail for something he did not do. Just before he was getting ready to come out of jail for a crime he did not do. He died in jail. Two weeks before he was getting ready to come out. And was in there. How long he was in there, G? He probably was in. I think he was in there like two, two or three years. For a crime he did not do, bro. For another dude, he from the hood that he just wanted to, he stood on the square. Nah, we don't get down like that. All true. And as soon as they found him, okay, he wasn't involved. Two years later, Charles Muhammad was good. Uh, two or three years later, for a crime he didn't do, when they realized he didn't do it and get ready to release him. He died in jail two weeks later. Cool jazz brother in the super chat. He said, what's up, Blue? Uh, uh, much love from the, the, the SIP, Mississippi. Salute to Mississippi, man. <clears throat> That's all true. Exactly. Terry approved, right? Exactly, Queen. Renee Bosch Young, go scribe my brother Renee Bosch Young. That's all true. All true. All true. We done been through it all. We done been through it all. I got friends that that took. We got a friend that uh, uh, my brother G. Y'all know. I told y'all that he took his own life uh, uh, just suddenly. Uh, uh, Dog two one five was good. Uh, uh, other friends that 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 people took. It just it just, bro. I'm so y'all. When people be hey, blue did this and man, I could care less. I could care less, bro. You ain't let them talk. Bro, I could breathe fresh air. I could walk outside on my own recundance. I could stretch. I could talk to y'all. Man, listen, I, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I got friends right now that's texting me from, they texting me from jail. And they been in there. I got a friend that been in jail since 2001. <laughs> We in 2023. He be texting me like, yo, bro, you seen that fight? You seen it? What you think about the Terrence Crawford fight? He been there since 2001. And I got another friend that went right behind him in 2003. Come on, bro. His kids is grown. His kids got kids. And bro has is, is been in this since 2001, bro. He's been there for 22 years, bro. He's been there for 22 years. So, man, listen, man. Yeah, yeah, he, he texting me from the cell phone all the time. Yo, you seen the fight? What you think about the fight? I'm like, bro, you know, Terrence Crawford shocked me, this, this, and this. Yeah, I ain't think that. I was telling... I was telling my, 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 this dude that lived next, this is how they talk. Then we didn't get to back to Boston, but this is how they talk. He said, I was telling this dude that lived in, a, in an apartment next to me, the apartment next to me.
we watched, we was watching it in my house. What? That's wild, bro. Just think about that. That's wow. Like they got to get accustomed to that. Or you it's either that or you go crazy. So anyway, back to boxing, man. So Terence Crawford says that he's willing to fight Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Sean Connor, I'm super blessed. I'm super blessed. Chris Lil Montel was good. Uh he said, uh Blue, I know I just asked this similar question, but will they find a way for Errol and Bud to fight for a belt to make it more meaningful? Um at one fifty four you saying, No, nah, um they're not gonna fight for any belts. Um that time of them fighting for belts is over. Luther Boy, what's up, family? Um, they're not going to fight for any belts. Um, like you asked me earlier, can they fight for a belt? They had a catch weight, but they ain't going to fight at a catch weight. 4K, what's up, family? He said, Blue about to start making me rock my curls. Jerome Pirtle, what's good? Mark Franklin, what's good? Facts. Man, my glasses in here. So, so uh, uh, they could fight at a catch weight, and if they fought at a catch weight, um, at a catch weight, then they could, you know, uh, um, fight for a title. But they both ready to move to 154. Neither one of them, uh, Kenneth Neal was good. Neither one of them wants to fight at 147 anymore. Right? Uh, ne <laughs> uh Chris. Little one, Taylor, you wild for that. Uh, neither one of them is is ready to. Neither one of them wants to stay at one forty seven. They done with that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and they don't want to play play around with no one fifty, one fifty one. They ain't trying to do none of that. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, they both ready to move on. Uh, they both ready to to to, you know, um, and smash the like button, man. Let's get the likes to five hundred, man. Smash the like button. Get the likes to five hundred. Smash the like button. Get the likes to 500. Boss Hawk, what's good? Get the likes to 500. ASAP, people. Get the likes up to 500. Uh, so, uh, what I was saying is, you know, uh, um, that, that, so, so what happens is, they definitely can, you know, um, fight at at a, uh, uh, um, at a they done with one fifty one forty seven man. They drained, you know what I'm saying. They don't want to fight at one forty seven no more. Uh, they done with that part of the sport of uh, the sport of boxing. They both well into their thirties. They done with that, you know what I'm saying. They don't have no interest in fighting, you know, uh, 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 at one forty seven. Um, now. As far as Terence Crawford and his fight goes, Terence so, so Terence Crawford said that he said that Errol Spence should take time off, right? Uh, 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 he said that Errol Spence should take time off before he. Let's listen to what he said. He think that Errol Spence should take time off, and he think that the fight should have been stopped um, in the seventh round. You know what I mean? Um, so let's listen to what he said about that, and then we're gonna get into. Uh, uh, the, him and Canelo Alvarez part. So he says that he don't think Errol Spence should retire, but he think he should definitely take time off. 
I don't know. I'm just sitting back, exploring my option. Hold on. Well, I don't think he should retire. I think he should t take a little time off, you know, get his get his mind right and, you know, get back in the gym and get back focused because, you know, I never took a loss in the professional uh, rankings, but I know how, how that can affect you mentally, you know, being at this high level and losing the way you lost. You know, you start questioning yourself. You start asking yourself certain questions. Do I still got it? Am I, am I getting old? Am I slipping? You start asking yourself all different type of questions that you got to answer. So I just, you know, would tell him, you know, you're a great fighter. Take take a little time off and come back, and, you know. Uh, but don't Have rush. I send him a text message. Mm -hmm. Send him a text message. Far. No. Like, I, like I told everybody, I don't hate Earl Spence. Like, I'm a fan of Earl Spence. Like, you know, uh, it was just business at the end of the day. No, man, you got to understand, man. Earl's a, you know, a great fighter. He's very strong. He's He's got the heart of a lion. And, you know, he's, he, he's very tough. Mm -hmm. Yes. The ref did stop it. Right. Yeah, sure. But I think that his, his, his corner should have stepped in in the seventh round as if, you know, uh, they believed in Earl, but at the same time, they should have saved the fighter from himself. So... I agree with Terrence Crawford, right? So he said he should take a little bit of time off. He don't think he should retire. He's a strong fighter, but he do think that they should have stopped it in the seventh round. Um, and I agree, you know, uh, um, in the seventh round, you can see uh, he had nothing left. And uh, like Terrence Crawford said, now it gets to the point where you're just hoping that you land something uh, uh, of significance. So, you know, a, a lucky punch or anything just to just to be able to say you want right and um that's one thousand percent the truth you know uh uh you know he Errol Spence took a lot of punishment in that fight <clears throat> and something else that I, I simply don't agree with right um I made a video about this yesterday and I talked about this last night I don't know if y'all seen it I don't even know if they sent you the notifications or not um but you know, uh, I talked about the Boston Commission not caring, okay? Um, because the Boston Commission, I did a video about this last night, but the Boston Commission has, you know, um, the Boston Commission has, uh, salute to Coach Malachi, just got his notification. Um, the Boston Commission has suspended Ryan Garcia for six months. And suspended Earl Spence for two months? Y'all didn't hear what I said. First of all, I need y'all to get the likes up the 500. Wipe your feet before you come inside. Ring my doorbell before you walk in my house. Let's get the likes up to five, 500 ASAP. If you have not smashed the like button, smash it. Let's get the likes to 500. Let's show them that we, regardless of what they do and how they try to stop us, right? That we're going to continue to grind and we're going to continue to, to make to make it happen. Double R, what's good? Get the likes up 500. Get the likes to 500 ASAP. Denzel Horton, what's up, family? This just lets you know how it's all about money. They could care less about the fighters. So they saying that Ryan Garcia took more punishment than Errol Smith. They said Ryan Garcia took more punishment than Errol Smith. Pardon my way. What's up, family? Yeah, I've been on a minute. They're not sending out my notification. Ryan Garcia took more punishment than Errol Spence? What? what? Ryan Garcia was in a fight. They taking my likes away. I, I just seen four likes go away. Smash the like button. Get the likes all the way up. So Ryan Garcia 
Got dropped in the sec second round. Okay? Now, Mugisha, Oscar, what's good? Appreciate you. Brian B, what's good? Now, I want y'all to pay attention. Al Rogan, what's good? Ryan Garcia got dropped with a counter left hand, big left hand from uh, 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 Tank Davis, right? In the second round, he got dropped. He didn't get dropped until the seventh round. And it was a, he didn't get dropped. He got hit with a left hook to the liver. Ryan Garcia, Luis Garcia, what's good? Ryan, appreciate you, brother. Ryan Garcia got a hit with a left hook to the liver, took three steps back and took a knee. Then when he took a knee, he looked up at the referee that was counting and he shook his head and said, no, nah, that's it. Ryan Garcia quit to the point where people were saying that Ryan Garcia quit. Right? They were saying Ryan Garcia quit. Right? So he wasn't brutally knocked out. Right? He wasn't, he wasn't brutally knocked out. He said he had enough. And he waved the white, waved the white towel himself. Right? He waved the white towel himself. Errol Spence got dropped three times. And then the referee said, we've seen enough. He got dropped three times. His eyes were swollen. His nose was bleeding. His lip was bleeding. His body language was, all, was terrible. He couldn't stand no more. And the referee said, first of all, the doctor got on the apron and looked at Errol Spence and said, man, we don't, they, they investigate Errol Spence from the, from like the third round. From like the third round, they started to, to, to look at Errol Spence and investigate Errol Spence. So they looking at Errol Spence like, man, this dude don't look right. And he was getting battered in there. Errol Spence was getting battered in there. Then the referee said, man, he got hit. He stumbled across the ring. His body, he's like this. His nose. And then the referee's like, bro, no, nah, we can't continue this. And they waved it off. So how could Errol Spence be suspended for two months after that? And Ryan Garcia suspended for six months. So you telling me the medical commission, the Boston commission, Figured that Ryan Garcia took more punishment than Errol Spence. Let me tell y'all what happened. That's a way for Errol Spence to be ready to fight again in, in December. Because if they suspended Errol Spence for three months, then he couldn't fight in December. Because he needs a two-month training camp. So he wouldn't be able to fight in December. Right? So... He he would have been suspended from August, September, October. Means he won't be able to train until November. Obviously, he won't be able to the fight in December. So they will have to push the fight back. But no, they want to make sure that and just just to show y'all proof, just so people think that I want to show y'all proof so y'all know I'm not making this up. I want to show y'all the proof that I'm not making this up. Okay. Right? Look at this. Look. Errol Spence, suspended by the Las Vegas, Nevada Boxing Commission. He's suspended till September 28th. Ryan Garcia, suspended by Nevada Boxing Commission. Right? Until October 20th. He fought before Errol Spence... And he's suspended till longer than Errol Spence? Make that make sense, people. Make that make sense. I, I, I'm, I'm making it make sense because if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Hawaii Chris was good. 4K. He got, he fought April 22nd and got stopped with a body punch, got up 
and was okay. He got up and got up and, and was okay. Did y'all see Earl Spence walk into the locker room? Mind the man, Samusa LLC, what's good? Just Finesse, what's good? Errol Spence walking in the locker room with Yellow Beezy like this. And you gonna tell me that Ryan Garcia, who was out there just like this, went to the press conference, looked just fine. But you gonna tell me that Ryan Garcia should be suspended long? Like, come on, man. They suspended dude for six months. Mike Wilson was good. For six months, they suspended Ryan Garcia. Six whole months. Sure was, Tyana Scott. October 20th, due for April 22nd. They suspended this dude to October 20th. One slow taco was good. And Earl Spence fought July 29th and suspended to September 28th. Yeah, and what a coincidence. That means he could train and, and, and be and, and fight and be prepared to fight October, November, and fight in December. And, and that way they can clear him and they can announce the fight to fight in Vegas. Well, that just told you where they're fighting at. Right? So they just told you when and where they're gonna fight. So you know now. Y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't have to ask me or anybody else. You know they're gonna fight in December, and you know they're gonna fight in Vegas. Because they go, they're gonna clear him to be able to fight in Vegas. So we know they're gonna fight in December, and we know they're gonna fight in Vegas. All true. That's the crying shame, bro. Boxing should be ashamed of themselves. They should be ashamed of themselves. Knoxville Will was good. So this is this is what Teddy Atlas was just talking about. Danny was good. Danny said, it's the hurt business. Where was all this compassion for all the Spencer's victim? Now, see, Danny, I don't know if you realize what channel you want and who you're talking to. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to retract that. Because clearly you didn't do your homework. Spooky Man X, what's good, family? Danny, you did no homework, did you? Huh? Sean Connor, what's good? You did no homework. See, this is what this is what I be talking about. You do is just be saying stuff because you can. RJ the legend, what's good? You should do research and, and look into stuff before you just comment and respond. Because it makes zero sense what you just said. And which one of Errol Spencer's... Now, let me ask you this question, Danny. I need y'all to smash the like button, drop a dollar in the Super Chat, refresh the Super Chat. Let's get the likes to 500. Nucky Gamble, what's good? Omar David, what's good, family? He said, Blueba, why why they only... Uh, the moment if Spence uh, can go well again TC what's up family you have to save the ref you know why the referee is there Omar David Jeremiah Joseph what's good Omar David do you know why the referee is there do you understand why they have a referee in place 
but actually showed mercy on the on the 29th. Never said he didn't. Uh, 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 the referee is there, and your trainers in it. They're there to protect the fighters from themselves. They're there to protect them, to protect the fighters from themselves. That's why the referee can stop it. That's why doctors can stop it. The reason that they can stop the fights is because you have to protect the fighters from themselves. Right? Do main breezy. Bezzy, what's breezy? What's up? So when you say if Errol can go, then why not let him go? The point is, Errol would fight tomorrow if he could. Abdul Kayum, what's good? They are fighters. They are trained to do this. Sometimes they get one-track minds. You have to save the fighters from themselves because they won't do it. They won't do it. Jonathan 97 was good. So you have to save the fighters from themselves. So if you tell Errol Spence he could fight October 1st, Errol Spence going to fight October 1st. They fought July 29th. If you tell Errol Spence, hey, bro, August 25th, you're going to fight. Errol Spence going to fight August 25th, bro. You have to save them from themselves. So it doesn't matter if Errol can go or not. It's about the, 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 the structure around them being able to protect them from themselves, seeing as though they don't have no medical uh, 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 insurance when they finish boxing. There's nothing to protect them and help them when they finish boxing. So you have to save them from themselves. You have to protect them from themselves. So who cares if Errol can go uh, 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 next month or uh, in December? Just like Robert Helaney has fought two weeks ago and now he's going to fight again uh, tomorrow or Saturday. Well, because he didn't take much punch. Well, did you take a punch? I'm sure he took some punches. Josh Smalls was good. Just like the, you see the, the doctor always, he, he, Terrence Crawford didn't take much punishment, right? But the doctor went over to Terrence Crawford to check him out. Because one punch can change anything. War Dog 415 was good. He said, Booba, the fight is in five months. Uh, that's, you're talking about August, September, October, November. They fight in December. So that means, now take into consideration, that means that he has to have a two months training camp. See, let me let me help you. Let me, let me educate you on something, great brother. That means he has to have a two month training camp. That means in October and in November, he's going to be taking punches, brother, because he has to have sparring. So what you think? The only punches he going to take is on in December? So you're saying he's going to fight in December. That's five months away. No. He's going to be taking punches two months away. Brother? In, this, in, in October, Errol Spence will be back taking punches because he has to have sparring. So no, it's not five months away, bro. You actually take more punishment in training camp than you do in the actual fight most of the time. So, no, he's not going to take punishment in five months. See, on the, on the surface, that, that sounds good. Well, he ain't fighting until December, so that's five months away. He ain't going to take no punishment. No, bro, he has to take punishment in October from multiple different people to prepare him for Terrence Crawford, which means he's going to be taking punches and punishment in October and in November, bro. You see what I'm saying? So, no. He ain't taking, he ain't getting no breaks off. Louis Luck, brother in the Super Chase, said, why did Spence get suspended? Because he got stopped and took punishment. Anytime you get knocked out or get stopped or take punishment, you're automatically medically suspended by the Boston Commission. Automatically. But 
my thing is, how did the Boston Commission decide that Ryan Garcia took more punishment than, than Errol Spence did? That don't make sense. But it does make sense because it's about money. John J. Doe, what's good? And then Terrence Crawford said this about fighting Canelo Alvarez. He'll fight him at a catchway. Y'all, let's listen to this. Y'all want to hear that part? Patrick Bell, what's up, family? I need y'all to get them likes up, man. Catchway. Mm -hmm. We can do something at a catchway. Boy. 160 or something. Well, he just, he just talking. Mm -hmm. He got the confidence in himself that he believed that. So he said that he'll fight. He want to fight Canelo Alvarez at a catchway. 160. Now he's talking about Tank. And he said. He's telling Tank there's levels up here. If you think you're going to come up here and knock me out, you got another thing coming. Listen to what he said about Tank. He can do that because he's been knocking all these fighters out that he's been in the ring with. You know, so um, no knock to, to Tank, but there's definitely levels. Mm -hmm. You know, and if he come up to 147 and he's thinking he's just going to knock Terrence Crawford out, Got another thing coming. If he wanted to, you know, I'll stay at 147 for him. That's a big money. That's a big. Everybody going to say he was too small. Nobody going to give me credit. Yeah. They're going to say, oh, man, you beat up a little guy that's fight at 135. Five, five. Mm -hmm. five. You know, yeah, Tank. Tank like five, five. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he's a little guy. You know, uh, yeah, he can punch. Mm -hmm. But in his weight class. Not saying that he, he can't punch in any weight class, cause he 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 punch punch, mm -hmm. and we see that, you know. But what type of recognition I'm gonna give for, you know, beating up on Tank? Mm -hmm. 135, 147 is a big jump. Mm -hmm. You know, that's almost 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. Well, 20, 22, 12, 12, 12, mm -hmm. yeah, 12, 12, yeah, 12 pounds. You know, so. That's a big jump. So for you, it's all about uh, artistic. Sadim, what's going on? True Poe, what's good? Dope interview by Bud, a humble guy and down to earth from what I can see. I don't know personally, but I got respect for Bud. Much respect to both fighters, though. Yes, sir. Al Rogan, what's good? Techno and press is good press. Yeah. So he said, man, what I'm going to get from, from beating up on take? I ain't gonna get no 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 credit for beating up on Tang. He's right, but he said that he'll stay at one forty seven for Tang. If Tank want to come up, I'll stay at one forty seven for Tank. It's a big fight. It is. Matthew Wilson's gonna salute the bud for checking on Spence' well being. Yeah. Battle boy, what's good? And I'm, 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 I like that fact that he said he reached out to uh, uh, Errol Spence. Jonathan Rucker, what's good, family? The same with Boots. Yeah, Jack Don, what's up, family? Charlo Tank, Broner, Derry James, all in the in their feelings because they uh, man got beat up. Yeah, that's understandable, Diamond Queen. 
Band up. What's up, nephew? It's understandable. They're emotionally uh, driven. I didn't hear what Derek about it. Battle Boy said, Blue, you cutting weight? Why I look like I'm cutting weight? Uh, don't, 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 don't want to. That's more. Uh, Crawford TK on him, but Calvin ain't going to let Tank be hurt. Yeah. Smash the like button, man. Get the likes to 500. Drop a dollar in the super chat. Refresh the super chat. Sean Ham, what's up, family? Smash the like button, man. Drop a dollar in the super chat. Refresh the super chat. Let's get this. Let's get the super chats and the likes all the way up, man. Get the likes to 500, man. Drop a dollar in super chat. Refresh the super chat, man. You see, they're not sending out the notifications. They playing all types of games, man. Tank not too. Uh, don't. Sorry, typing too fast. Tank not too. Don't. Sorry, typing too fast. Yeah, I can't understand what you're saying, great brother. Smash the like button, man. Get the likes to 500. Wipe your feet before you come inside. Ring my doorbell before you walk in my house. Cody Maxwell, Adrian D, what's good? Canelo ain't going down to 160. Todd Green, what's good? Wilder or Joshua? I got Wilder. I want to see that fight, though. Smash the like button, man. I want to see them fight, for real. I truly want to see them fight. Cedric Rose, what's up, family? Do you think Boots gonna stay at 147 long enough to fight Devin Haney? Nah. Larry Lopez, what's good? It says, wow, let's see it's raining out here. Yeah. Aliasha, blessings. I like a Tank versus Crawford matchup. Tank will land on Crawford. Crawford gets hit, which will make it uh, competitive. And, and that's not to say he's going to win. But I think Crawford KO's take. Yeah, I think Crawford knocks him out. I think Crawford will knock him out. Smash the like button, man. Get the likes to 500, man. Get them likes up to 500. And drop a dollar in Super Chat. Refresh the Super Chat, man. What we waiting for? Let's see if this stays.